Welcome, 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 and greetings to all the busy being better queens and kings. I hope everyone is walking well in your power right where you are right now. Today, I'm going to talk about a subject that's dear to my heart. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. And the topic is having a bad day. Of course, I don't use the word bad. I use the word having a challenging day. First of all, I refuse to call any day a bad day. I just can't do it because I don't see any days being bad. And I don't believe days are bad. I believe they're challenging. When we tell ourselves we're having a bad day or we're going to have a bad day, our brains start processing that to make sure we get what we say. Words are very powerful, queens and kings. I say that all the time. Be careful what you tell yourself. Be very aware of your self-talk. And I know the majority of the world says, I'm having a bad day or I had a bad day. Don't follow it within that group. Say challenging or something else other than bad. And that self-talk, your brain picks it right up and makes sure you get exactly what you said you're going to get. And I find prepping for challenges. And I'll say bad day just so I don't lose anyone. But prepping for challenges, because challenging days going to come. It might seem reasonable because, well, challenging days, they suck. No doubt about that. And when we're in the throng of a bad, challenging day, it often hard to see clearly. That's why it's so important. Don't be saying bad because bad right away going to make it hard for you to see clearly. But if you say challenging or something more palatable that the brain will help you with. But bad is just right out not any good. So watch your word choices. And Think of a challenge or a moment when or which you truly enjoy. You know, this is a good thing to reflect to something you enjoy because if you wallow in your challenging days, first of all, by using words that make you feel worse. And tr if you can reflect, don't reflect on things that are the worst you'll find a whole different outcome. So think of a day or moment which you truly enjoy and try to recap that very first feeling. And close your eyes and try to relive it through your five senses. This will trick the brain into thinking it is real and may help return some of those positive emotions. And I think my brain, this is how I trick my brain. I think you can do this too. I trick my brain. I start singing. I love to sing. And it's a form of prayer for me as well. I will trick my brain by singing. And I sing a lot. And sometimes I even dance to my own singing. Or I listen to music or my favorite music. And I turn it up a little bit. When I'm challenged. On those challenging days. And even the hardest days contains lessons that will help you be better. Be a better person. That's something to think about to help trigger your brain, not to go south. Not to say south is bad, but just to not go down there. 
And if you're having a challenging day, it can feel like things will never get better. And the fact is that tomorrow is a new day and a new opportunity to improve your life, no matter what's going on right now. And once the challenging day or the bad day is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. But one thing is certain. When you come out of the storm of that challenging or bad day, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what challenging days are all about. And if you had a challenging day, try not to focus on how terrible your life is. It's tempting to do that, though, because that's what we're feeling. But stressing out won't make you feel any better. And if you search for the lesson in your present challenge, you'll be able to make positive change that would prevent similar situations in the future. And in order to do that, Try spe specifying exactly what is causing you to have a challenging day. For example, your, your controlling boss at work said something that put you in a challenging or bad mood. You can then analyze that. Are you happy at your job? Maybe you want to ask yourself that question. Will you be happier elsewhere? Are you ready to move on to something new? Because sometimes these things happen to nudge. You need to be nudged out of that challenging situation. And remember, challenging days aren't temporary. They, they are temporary. They're not permanent. Challenging days are temporary. When you find yourself in one, try to identify what caused you to have the bad day so that you can work to overcome it tomorrow and get to feeling good again. And feel what you have to feel what you need to feel. I say that to when you have to feel, feel it. And then allow yourself to move on to better days. Everyone goes through ups and downs in life. However, some know, some people know how to feel better real quickly. That's what it takes. That's what you have to do. And when you're having a hard time, it can be difficult to focus on learning how to feel better. And it's best to start with something small to get you some more energy flowing. And from there, you can move on to bigger actions that can bring more positivity into your life day after day. And remember, 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 it's not what happens to us. It's not what happens to you. But how you react to it is what matters. Queens and kings, walk in your power and change those challenging, quote, bad days into better days and feel better right where you are right now. And watch your wording, self-talk, and use the word challenging days instead of bad days and see the change in your life. Words are powerful. And I know we've been taught challenge, bad days. Oh, I'm having a bad day. Oh, I had a bad day. Oh, I had an awful day. But use words that is more soothing and more best for your brain to interpret. Because bad automatically, and your brain's going to give you what you are thinking. 
and what you're saying. Your brain's going to give you what you look and what you say. I'm having a bad day. Oh, I had a bad day. The brain's going to give you that. Use words like challenging. That's the best word for bad. Use that word instead. And watch the difference when you have those so-called bad days. See the difference in how you feel and what will come out from that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Any newcomers, welcome, welcome, welcome aboard. So you found the right channel and you're so, so very welcome. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So when I do another video, you will be informed and, and advised right away. Thanks to all for listening. And I appreciate everyone. And peace.